Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll be showing you render settings for my project. Today we are working with this uh, modern contemporary house and the shot we're looking for is um, evening shot or an early uh, night shot. So let's start by uh, creating uh, our base render. This is the uh, angle we'll be uh, working with. And straight away the same copy of this shot so we can start applying our effects to it. So it is very simple today. We do not need too many effects. We'll need sun, shadows, reflections, all the obvious ones, skylight and hyperlight. From camera we need an exposure, depth of field and chromatic aberrations. And from colors, color correction and sharpening. Should be 10. Yeah, we got all of them. So as usual, I'll start with uh, chromatic aberrations. You can see them in uh, in the corner of the shot. Dispersion on the lens. So we want to bring the dispersion almost all the way down, just barely visible in the, the corners of the shot. So we're done with that one. And let's start with the sun. As I mentioned in the beginning, we're looking for early evening or um, or early night shot so we need to bring down the sun, uh, sun height somewhere around there we want to uh, the sky to appear a little bit a little brighter a little bit of a of cloud and let's see about the heading and by rotating the Sun you're also changing the, the color or the brightness of, of the sky as well so I like it somewhere around there. Okay, so we're done with the sun. Moving on to uh, shadow. So let's switch our soft uh, and fine detail shadows on. And uh, let's have a look. Omni shadow goes a little down. We are taking an exterior shot. So uh, we slide the exterior shadow to the right. The brightness, we want to bring it down because we want to have contrast in between the light and, and the, uh, the shadows as usually you get in, uh, in a night shot. And the coloring, we want it a little bit to the, to the right. We want the shadows to be uh, nice and warm. So we put it done uh, in here. We'll come back to it because as you can see, it's too dark, but uh, we'll adjust some exposures a little later on. Let's switch on the, the reflections. Not too many in here. Well, we're gonna pick one on the ground in here as it is uh, wet asphalt. And we have a glass in here between the columns. And there is a glass in here. This space in here is uh, hollow, so there is no one. Uh, I didn't pick up the, the glass plane. There it is. So we're done with the reflections. Switching the speed of reflections on and moving on to, um, to the skylight. So the planar reflections and projected reflections on, high quality of, uh, of render now. As I always mention, the skylight and the hyperlight, you are not able to see the differences in your viewer. So you need to render every time when you change um, your, um, your effects in here, the adjustments. I know I want my brightness somewhere down here, as well as the saturation for my desired effect today. And I want to bring the hyperlight a little up. It gives me a little more um, detail in these areas inside uh, in the interior around the lights. So we're done with the hyperlight and the skylight. Moving on to exposure. So let's bring some light into um, into our picture. So we're around here. We may come back uh, to this one later. Now depth of field. 
let's see uh, we want the foreground uh, to be blurred and we want the background to be blurred as well as you can see in here um, if I make the background uh, too sharp the stars will kind of disappear from uh, from the sky uh, when you make it a little blurry they will pop up and uh, and shine a little brighter so I'm gonna increase the amount of depth of field uh, let's choose the focus distance let's um, use this helper in here in the beginning of the house and switching on the distance there we go the change is now in the front of the house the main uh, portion and the background and foreground can stay somewhere somewhere in the middle so now we have the background a little blurry as well as the uh, foreground and uh, the house should pop from uh, from the picture so we're done in here uh, we've done the chromatic aberrations uh, color correction let's see uh, for the night shot from the lights as you can see you always get warmer uh, temperature of the light so we're somewhere somewhere in here and the tint a little bit as well now just a little bit of vibrance but not too much and let's bring up the, the brightness now it's starting to look more like a like a night shot or late evening uh, just a little bit of contrast from uh, from the spotlights going to the to the shadow uh, areas outside the building saturation can stay over there and it looks like we are pretty much done in here and final thing let's sharpen up our image but not too much it's enough somewhere around here so let's see if we have to come back to uh, i said we would come back to uh, shadows so let's see if we need to adjust something Yeah, the brightness somewhere down here so it's a it's a big contrast from the parts that are lit and the parts say in the in the trees and the forest which are supposed to be quite dark just a little bit of uh, light bounced from uh, from the surfaces in here on the nearby trees and then uh, we got the coloring right exterior interior i think we are done in here so just quickly double check we need to come back to something but I believe we are about to done so uh, I'm going to render and we'll see what kind of result we get today so as usual guys uh, thanks for watching stay well and stay creative <laughs>